Kalidikarichi Aya Nilakanta Sastri the 12th of August 1892 to the 15th of June 1975 was an Indian historian who wrote on South Indian history Many of his books form the standard reference works on the subject Sastri was acclaimed for his scholarship and mastery of sources and was a recipient of the third highest Indian civilian honor of Padma Bhushan Topic Career Nilakanta Sastri was born in a Teluguna Yoga Brahmin family, in Kaladikarichi near Tirunelveli, on 12 August 1892. He completed his F.A. in M.D.T. Hindu College, Tirunelveli and his college education in Madras Christian College. Sastri obtained his M.A. by coming first in the Madras Presidency. He joined the Hindu College as lecturer in 1913 where he taught till 1918. He served as Professor of History, Banaras Hindu University from 1918 to 1920. After that he became the principal of the then newly started Arts College of Animalai University. In 1929, he was employed as Professor of History at National College, Trichy. The same year, he succeeded Sakote Krishnaswamy Iyengar as the Professor of History and Archaeology at the Madras University, a post he held till 1946. He was the professor of Indology currently renamed as Department of History and Archaeology at the University of Mysore from 1952 to 1955. He was appointed as the ex officio director of archaeology for the Mysore state in 1954. He was also the president of the All India Oriental Conference in the early 1950s. From 1957 to 1972, he served with the UNESCO's Institute of Traditional Cultures of Southeast Asia, as the director of the institute. In 1957, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian honour. In the summer of 1959, he was a visiting professor at the University of Chicago where he delivered a series of lectures on South Indian history. Nilakanta Sastri died in 1975. Topic. Assessment Nilakanta Sastri is regarded as the greatest and most prolific among professional historians of South India. Tamil historian A. R. Venkatashalapathy regards him as "...arguably the most distinguished historian of 20th century Tamil Nadu." In 1915, a Bengali historian Jadunath Sarkar, wrote an essay Confessions of a History Teacher in the Modern Review regretting the lack of acclaimed historical works in vernacular languages and stressed that efforts should be made to write history books and teach history in vernacular languages. Nilakanta Sastri, who was then a young teacher in Tirunelveli, wrote a letter to the newspaper opposing Sarkar's suggestion by saying that, English serves me better as a medium of expression than Tamil, I mean in handling historical subjects. Perhaps the vernacular is not so well off in this part of the country as it should be." Sastri's comments evoked sharp criticism from the nationalist poet Subramanya Bharati. According to Venkatashalapathy, Sastri's Tamil proficiency was not good and he relied on Tamil scholar S. Vayyapuri Pillai for understanding Tamil literary works. Thus he was not able to analyze the changing meaning of words over time. Venkatashalapathy says, In the professional historiography in Tamil Nadu practiced in the age of K. A. Nilakanta Sastri there was rarely any interrogation of sources except in terms of authenticity and chronology. Sastri's A History of South India is a recommended textbook for university students of Indian history. In a preface to the 2013 reprint, historian Sanjay Subramanyam describes the book thus A classic work, which retains its importance and has never quite been replaced. It shows the author's mastery over a huge set of sources, which placed him head and shoulders above other South Indian historians of his time. Historian Noboru Karashima, who edited A Concise History of South India 2014, describes Sastri's A History of South India as an excellent book, and praises Sastri's examination of sources of South Indian history as thoroughgoing and meticulous. However, Karashima also states that being a Brahmin, Sastri was inclined to emphasize the role of North Indian and Sanskrit culture in the development of South Indian society, which resulted in occasional bias. 
Karashima notes that Sastri's book remained the only authoritative scholarly book on the South Indian history for a number of reasons. Nobody could match Sastri in bringing out a similar work. Attacks from Tamil nationalists deterred historians from writing such a book, and new trends in history writing made composition of works on general history more difficult. Gunapati Sabia of the Indian History Congress describes Sastri as the greatest of all South Indian historians. During Sastri's period, strong language-based movements had emerged in various regions of South India. Sabia notes that Sastri attempted to portray South India as a distinct geocultural unit, and was keen to dissolve the growth of regionalism in South Indian historiography. Sabia adds that Sastri's macro-level view of the South Indian history revolved around Aryan Dravidian syndrome, and this view changed with his age. In his twenties, Sastri asserted the existence of an independent Tamil culture which flourished for centuries before it was touched by extraneous influences." A few years later, he wrote that the culture of the Sangam period was a composite of two distinct Tamilian and Aryan cultures, and a decade later, he declared that Sanskrit is the pivot of our whole culture, and Tamil culture is no exception to this rule. According to Sabia, Sastri's views should be analyzed in the context of the rise of the anti Brahmin Dravida Nadu movement in the mid 20th century, his assertions over emphasizing the importance of Indo Aryan and Sanskrit influence in South Indian history can be seen as his angry and desperate response against the Dravida Nadu secessionists. Topic bibliography In all, Nilakanta Sastri authored 25 historical works mostly on the history of South India. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta The Pandyan Kingdom from the Earliest Times to the Sixteenth Century. Luzak. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Studies in Chola History and Administration. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta The Cholas. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta A Comprehensive History of India. Orient Longman. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Historical Method in Relation to Problems of South Indian History. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Gleanings on Social Life from the Avadanas. Indian Research Institute. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Further Sources of Vijayanagara History. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta the Tamil Kingdoms of South India. The National Information and Publications. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta South Indian Influences in the Far East. Hind Katabs. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta History of Sri Vijaya. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta A History of South India, from Prehistoric Times to the Fall of Vijayanagar. Oxford University Press. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta, H. S. Ramana 1956. Historical Method in Relation to Indian History. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta 1957. A Comprehensive History of India. Orient Longman. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta 1963. Development of Religion in South India. Orient Longman. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta 1964. The Culture and History of the Tamils. K. L. Mukhopadhyay. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Sources of Indian History with Special Reference to South India. Asian Publishing House. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta A Great Liberal, Speeches and Writings of Sir P. S. Sivaswami Iyar. Allied Publishers. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta, G. Srinivasakari Life and Culture of the Indian People, A Historical Survey. Allied Publishers. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Cultural Contacts Between Aryans and Dravidians. Manaktalas. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Age of the Nandas and Mauryas. Mudalal Banarsidas. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta, G. Srinivasakari An Advanced History of India. Allied Publishers. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Foreign Notices of South India, from Megasthenes to Mahuan. University of Madras. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta Sangam Literature, Its Cults and Cultures. Swati Publishers. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta 
Aspects of India's History and Culture. Oriental Publishers. Sastri, K. A. Nilakanta South India and Southeast Asia, Studies in Their History and Culture. Geetha Book House Mysore. Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Topic Further reading Historic Residences of Madras Madras Musings 